my name's Megan. I work at Green Acres Nursery and Supply and I'm here to show you how to do a pot up today. First, you wanna select a pot. We have a large variety in all of our stores, uh, lots of different colors and sizes. Today, we're using this white textured pot and we've selected some different flowers that all go together uh, based on their light conditions. It's really important when you're doing a pot up to make sure that all of the plants have the same light conditions. We have a rule with pot ups, you don't have to follow it strictly, but there's thriller, filler, and spiller, which is gonna spill over the side of the, of the pot. Our thriller today is this beautiful pink hydrangea. Uh, this is one of the smaller varieties that doesn't get quite so big, so it's perfect for a pot up. For our filler today, we have these lovely tuberous begonias. I'm gonna use two in the pot. And then for the spiller, we have this little fuchsia here. This will be really nice with the really cute flowers flowing over the side. So first, you're gonna fill it up with soil and then mix in some of your Sure Start. This is really good for plants. I use it with everything I plant. Uh, it really helps them give that, get that boost and uh, so they can start growing successfully. I like to see with my pot ups uh, if there's a high side and a low side to the plant. So with this, I feel like this is a little bit higher. So I'm gonna have it in the back so that it angles down towards the other plants. Getting them out, you just want to squeeze the pot a little bit and gently, gently wiggle it out, just like that. Now it's important to break up the roots a little bit. This will allow it to spread in the pot and get more of the water successfully. Next comes the white begonias. These are so pretty. We offer them in lots of colors. Uh, red, pink, orange, yellow, and white. You can find them in quartz at most of our locations. The yellow ones are very popular. They go fast. So I'm just gonna place that right in there. Tuck it up alongside. Now, it's up to you how you want to place your plants. You can do the spiller right in the middle here and have the filler on either side or around. Or I like to do it a little bit off to the side. So I'm going to put this one right next to the one I just planted. Break it up a little bit. Tuck this guy in here. In nature, nothing is in a straight line. That's why I like to sort of put stuff off to the side for the spillers especially. This is a lovely little fuchsia. They need to have shade just like all the other plants. And they have beautiful little tiny blooms here. I love these little blooms. They're so cute. And the fuchsia will keep growing and drape over the side of the pot. So, next you just wanna take your soil and fill it in around the sides. Make sure you get lots of the good soil in there. We're just using regular potting soil for these. I would say with the, uh, if you're gonna use a blue hydrangea, they prefer some more acidic soil, especially if you wanna keep the, the blue color. I would suggest our Camellia Azalea mix. Uh, that has more acid in it. You can use just that or mix it in with your regular soil. Um, we also have something called True Blue that you can um, add in order to keep that blue color for your hydrangeas. But with the pink, they don't need quite as much. They like acidic soil, but they don't need it as much. So you just add in around here. And definitely you want to get some soil in the front of the plant. That. 
make sure it's filled right up to the brim. Once you start watering, the soil will settle a little bit. You might need to add some more, brush off any excess. This is an, another example of a pot up that we did uh, with some different plants. We have such a large selection, it's so hard to choose. Uh, this one is also a shade pot up, but we used some more tropical plants. Uh, this canna lily is lovely, lovely orange flowers. It's just starting to bloom. These are the mandevilla vines. This will be a great trailer on either side that'll flow down the pot. And then in the middle, we have the sun patients. All of these, again, need shade in the afternoon. If you wanna do a pot up and you're unsure about what to use in it, then please feel free to stop by any of our locations and we can help you out with some great suggestions.